Why well, hello there my friends, this is Amal Revan speaking and today in, in this tutorial video we're going to be installing the 2024 Admiral of the Fleet Edition in World of Warships, the customized made skins that's done by KGB Terminator. Now as you can see this is the Ohio with the basic skin that is on it right now and it's going to go through a bit of a huge makeover to something like this or something like these other ship skins that i'm showing here right now like the republic the massachusetts well there's soon to be more in the near future right so it's going to be actually pretty damn cool okay so first and foremost i mean like everyone would like to have their customized made skins installed in the game it doesn't matter if you're not a streamer or you're just a normal person playing the game just for fun and shenanigans well this is an opportunity for you folks to sit back and relax now there is some instructions on how to install it and i have to say that you know like it's you know some people when they read instructions they go like oh wolf that's a lot of information mate that's like uh and can you just you know just make it easy all right well you know what i hear and i understand that wholeheartedly so you know what this video is designed for you folks for that very reason so basically we're gonna go run through the, all the steps and everything on how to get it going so we're gonna run through how to download how to install it and everything and also there will be a whole heap of things that you can do uh, for yourselves just to sit back relax and enjoy now okay first and foremost i mean like on the discord as you can see here that on the discord itself that there is a whole heap of you know like uh, tutorial videos and stuff like that but this one in particular is basically you downloading the ship skins and everything like that um so we're gonna go ahead and run through the whole process so that you understand what you're going to be doing and going forward with this i think it's not too bad it's pretty self-explanatory but let's just go ahead and you know go through the process so we're going to download the file first and we have already done so um once you download the file please note that you need to have winrar or 7-zip or winzip um, to extract the file so basically just right click on this um, using 7-zip that i use and then just go extract to this folder here bundle so as you can see it's expanding the file bundle right now and then basically when you look in this folder here there is a whole heap of stuff in there so let's just go ahead and quickly jump in and see what's inside um there's a readme text file which i'm just showing you right now on the side here but on this window here is the bin file now that one there is actually the version of the mod station or as mods whatever it is okay so the current version of the game that's at the moment now when you look in here there's a subfolder called res mods and you go like okay so there's a bit of a you know story about this you know how to put things together so that's great you know that's pretty much easy um, to understand the basics there so what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and copy that folder and get ourselves ready to go for the next step okay so what we need to do is that we need to go to the world of warships game folder now depending where your world of warships game folder is located it could be on your c drive d drive wherever it is but generally speaking um that the game is installed to a default folder which is either c drive games world of warships um, using the world of warships launcher or through steam now just pay attention to find out we you know where the game folder location is open a game folder and then you'll see a bunch of these folders in here now as you can see there's a whole bunch of you know folders in there you're looking for a folder specifically called bin and basically there's your versions of the game now so depending when your last time installed world of warships i have seen people with many different versions uh, back even to this figure right here um, when you have installed world of warships for the first time they usually have just two versions so basically most recently i did reinstall world of warships i got these two versions here with mod station installed and this is what i've been given 
so basically if you look at the extractor file that you have been uh, ready to be made which is from here and you'll see that under your bin folder there's a version that you're looking for copy that and then look at the game folder and you just want to right click on that and just go paste and then this will overwrite you know everything that's in there already now even though some of the instructions in here says like copy the res mods folder you know like uh, if you go to the version here go to res mods folder that's okay too but you know like uh, at least you know like what i've shown here in this video it kind of makes sense and makes it easier for you we just want to make it simple for you okay so you've done those steps over there now the next step is actually fire up the game okay so we're firing up the game right now and we'll just give it a bit of a will wait for it to come back together and it won't take long in loading up the game for doing this so once the game is loaded everything should be okay just keep in mind though that when whenever you're doing this sort of thing that your mods do get updated from time to time for per patch and everything like that but here you go there's an example of the Ohio skin that actually looks you know spectacular and it has been successfully installed um, if you want to check like an example for the other ship skins that you want to make sure um, make sure you got the Republic and then last but not least which is the Massachusetts and there she is all done so that's pretty much it um, for that part of it you know but I know that there have been uh, some situations people had asked me in the past about what happens if, you know, like, for example, that you're just doing it on the fly uh, with the game itself and everything like that. It's best to exit out of the game completely, uh, just, just to be honest. But whenever it comes down to, you know, updating your ship skins like the mods for example if you had one of the mods is like um, crapping out or something like that first thing you need to do is this okay so what you need to do is you need to go to the world of warships game folder bin and look for this red mods folder okay now i will show you what happens with mod station So, mod station, even though, you know, sometimes you can just reinstall the mods, you can just do it, but sometimes you can't, and it says, like, this folder has been denied, okay? Now, I will uh, shrink it a little bit down here for a second. There it is. Sorry. See, it says like it's been denied. That means that your mods, your customized mods, is stopping from doing it. So there's a way around this. So what you need to do is that you go to the mods itself and go to the mod folder, which is the warships bin folder and the version of the mod. And then basically what you need to do is that on the fly, is that you just press F2 on your keyboard to rename the folder or just right click or whatever you need to do to rename the folder. You just go that and then basically you just go delete. And then what you need to do is just click continue and then just notice that the, the options have changed and then you just click apply. So once you have applied that, then you can you know that for a fact that your mods have been reinstalled the updated version and then you repeat the steps in this document here to reinstall the skins and after that you're fine afterwards so basically just to quickly recap um you go ahead download the file extract it so you just basically go here extract like so I'm um, just, you know, just quickly re-demonstrating it in this video. Um, go to the the folder here. So basically, open it up. Um, when you do open it up, you see these two dot files here. 
go to the bin folder right click on this version of the game and then go in here go to the, the weather washers bin folder and then just paste it and override the files that is all you have to do but if you whenever the game gets updated to a different version there'll be a new subfolder version here and what you need to do is that you need to go to the downloaded file and then basically you go to the downloaded file have a look in here go in here and then go to the res mods folder copy that go to the, the bin folder the version and then you copy the updated version in there and that is pretty much it i mean like you'll be asked to replace it but i won't do it in this video because i've already done it and that's pretty much it but yeah and then you get your ship skins installed all right folks so that's pretty much it i mean like if you have any questions or queries please give it a like subscribe to this video and everything and feel free to get back to us if you have any questions just let us know and then we'll do our best to try and help you out until then stay safe take care and happy having fun with your customized skins and world of warships this year until then have a great year folks yeah.